this library video will explain how to reference secondary sources in APA style 7th edition. In scholarly work, a primary source reports original content. A secondary source refers to content first reported in another source. For example, the article you are using is written by Jeanette Rahman, who quotes another author named Zameli. The article by Zameli is the primary source, as it is the original work. The article by Rahman is known as the secondary source. With the in-text citation, you need to acknowledge both the primary source, Zameli, and the secondary source, Rahman. Do this by using a secondary citation. Your in-text citation for a paraphrase would look like this. Zameli, 2010, as cited in Rahman, 2015, suggested that information technology could be added to activities such as flipped classrooms. Or, if the citation is at the end of the sentence, information technology could be added to activities such as flipped classrooms. Zameli, 2010, as cited in Rahman, 2015. If the year of the primary source is unknown, omit it from the in-text citation. In your reference list, provide the details of the secondary source, in this case, the article by Rahman. The publication manual of the American Psychological Association, 7th edition, advises that secondary sources should be used sparingly, such as when an original work is out of print, unavailable, or in another language you do not understand. If possible, as a matter of good scholarly practice, Find the primary source, read it, and cite it directly. It is preferable to read the original author's ideas in the context of their article. View other guides and resources on the library's referencing and citation page. For more information, please contact the library.